Attention hobbyists, sports fans, and collectors nationwide and abroad. It's time to get high. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah. About the hobby we are all a part of. Live from the Mojo Break Studios, it's Dan and Doug. Come on! So, get hyped. Be hyped. This is... The Hype. What is going down, everyone? The Hype, episode 128. We got a spicy episode for you today. We just got back from the 2020 Tops Conference. There was a lot of news that came out of the event. We're going to discuss that. Uh, also, for you guys, I'm going to be live on the Hobby Hotline. It's the live Hobby Call-In Show this Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific Time. That's 11 Eastern for you folks. And I just want to see how our reach is here on the Mojo Break Hype Podcast. So if you come in there and say, heard it on the hype, I'm going to set out a free pack. But you got to be live in the chat on the Hobby Hotline this Saturday. It has to be live. Can't do it with the archive videos. And then screenshot it and then send that to mojobreak at gmail.com to claim your pack. So that's pretty easy to do. So anyways, we've got, like I said, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. Make sure you check out mojobreak.com for your breaking needs. Panini 1 is on fire. We got breaks of that. Uh, Optic Basketball is super spicy in, uh, you know, like we're going to be doing on this show today. And uh, we've got uh, Well, hockey. you guys hit this this morning? Or yesterday? Yesterday. Wow. So, yeah, we've got a lot of things going down on the website. We've got all four <laughs> sports, rocking and rolling. Series one, uh, series two hockey's been hot. Optic basketball, like I just said, is off the charts. Heritage baseball's insane. Uh, so, yeah, and uh, some of our biggest hits of the week. We've, we Yesterday, we pulled this Kyler Murray one of one out of uh, the brand new one. It's just a phenomenal card. And um, the next slides, we've got, uh, what did we get? We got the Larry O'Brien 101 out of Flawless for Dirk. C-Rad hit that. Uh, what, that was the first one you pulled, right? First one of that kind of card, yeah. What did you think when you saw it? What were you, like, dreaming of Luca <laughs> or, or what? Well, it wouldn't be Luca, right? No, I was, uh, I was actually hoping it was Kobe because it was, a, 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 um, you know, we were doing, like, the bounty for Kobe in that break. So, hoping it end because it was the very last card of the break. I saw that Larry, Larry O'Brien card. I was like, it was meant to be. I mean, you know, but Dirk, Dirk's a, Dirk was a nice one for the Dallas Mavericks, of course. Absolutely. It's a beautiful card. And then I think the last one we threw up there was just because we did Heritage yesterday. We got a, <laughs> a, a real one red autograph of Carl Yastrzemski. Now, I know Yaz may not sell for a whole lot. I thought it was a super cool card because 1971 tops got the original looking picture on there. Uh, it just went well with the red ink. So super awesome. Uh, yes, we hit our hundred dollar goal. So I will be eating this hottest chip ever, the one chip challenge, uh, fear the Carolina Reaper. We're going to make you guys wait. I felt like I, sell t- I sold it short at 100 bucks. I mean, to what I'm going to put my stomach and my mouth through, I probably should have upped the ante to like $500 to the Kobe Foundation. But, um, <laughs> uh, Dan, was I say die hard on your shirt? No, no, my shirt says blow hard. Oh, is that a band? I'll be coming? No, it's just. It's me. Oh, it's your it's your lifestyle yeah, it's just now. My lifestyle now. <laughs> the blowhard lifestyle. Blowhard lifestyle. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. So nice. <laughs> I gotta give me one of those, man. Shout out to uh, I don't know what his name is, but you know that one guy. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares what your name is. <laughs> doesn't matter what your <laughs> yeah, name is. Doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> so, anyways, yes, actually, there's a. I've got a support group with me today. There's gonna be three of us eating one of these crazy, crazy spicy chips. And uh, we'll see how the show goes after that. Might be a complete and utter S show, but we'll see. We'll see. Dan, have you seen this? Have you seen the great Giovanni Urshela? So uh, he came out for the Indians in 2015 with a uh, signature. And then recent signatures have popped up that uh, look a little different. (laughs) What the heck is that? A little bit. A little bit. Wow. Wow. So what's the story, Doug? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he just uh, maybe he didn't learn how to write until he got to the Yankees, and now he's just really practicing writing his full name. <laughs> the uh, or- the Indians one looks like looks like it says Corey or something. Yeah. Like I don't see the uh, I don't see the Geo. Yeah, I don't I don't know what happened there. We'll have to uh, find out from Tops what happened. That is a mystery. 
That is a tops mystery. Yeah, and thanks to Simon on Fans of Mojo Break who uh, dropped this little tidbit. I think it was great to mention at the beginning of the show. And that's another thing. If you're not uh, if you've been, you know, with us for a while, listening to the show, join the fans of Mojo Break on Facebook. Just search it and then uh, add, and uh, we'll approve you. So, but anyways, Tops 2020 Industry Conference went down on uh, Sunday, Monday, and a little bit of Tuesday in Arizona, Chandler, Arizona, at the uh, Wild Horse Casino in uh, beautiful Arizona, where the cactus lies. And uh, it was cool. Uh, they brought out uh, Joe Adele to do a signing and uh, meet and greet with everybody, as well as the great Chris Bryant. So it was pretty cool to uh, meet those gentlemen. And um, Chris what, man, that uh, Joe Adele, what are you guys talking about? He looks engaged. He was very engaged with me. He asked me for my autograph. I said, you know what? I'm not as famous as you, Joe. So actually, I was talking to him about his Netflix show he was, uh, he was on, which was uh, Spending Money in L.A. So he was like, does his uh, shirt say drip? It says drip. Uh, why wouldn't it? That's, <laughs> what are you trying to say? I, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> he's a youngster. No, because wasn't he wasn't he on the show that like he was just going out and just Buy spending spending tons yeah. and tons the, of money? Is that that baller show or something? No, you know they had Iggy Azalea on there. It was they had Trippy Red on there. It just has people that go. And, but it was like it was like yeah, the, re- the show the show was called like, Ball or something. No, it's called uh, spending dropping money, cash, dropping cash. Yeah, but it was know. like a bunch of people who are like really really well known. Joe Adele is well known in our industry. Yes. But I don't think he's really crossing over into like pop culture. So it was like surprising to see him on that show. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of funny. But he does. Because uh, he's still technically like, is he barely like a rookie? Did he get he, he's up? a prospect. Actually, he's he prospect. is. Now he is, I think, considered the number one prospect by Baseball America going into this year. Uh, he's second to Wander Franco. He's second. He- <laughs> so he's still a prospect, though. Hey, nothing wrong with yeah. Silver. Well, he'll he'll be a prospect until he makes the team, which yeah. is probably going to yeah. be this year, I would assume. Right? And you would, th- and then not a lot of prospects actually, like like Dan was saying, like not a lot of people really know who they are. Yeah, that's why when Doug up. when Doug told me, and that this show, I think he was probably on it what two years ago. Let's say they probably filmed it two years yeah. ago, so he had just gotten his signing bonus, probably. Well, he's actually an uh, Adidas exclusive as well. So. so okay, he's got that. Uh, he's got that Adidas he's got that, money. That Adidas money. That uh. Dame Lillard is also Adidas, right? Yes, and James Harden, I believe. Sweet. And uh, I actually, I think Chris Bryant as well. So maybe KB. Top, and you know what? I think Tops had Adidas shoes. So maybe that, uh, maybe the whole marketing agent thing worked out in this. Event. Okay. Okay. So you see, I've seen a trend here. So, uh, but uh, Max says uh, this is the episode where Doug's stomach dies. So maybe, possibly, possibly, we'll see. Might just take it like a champion. That's what I'm, I'm hoping to do. Anyways. Uh, so we'll move on to some of the news. Uh, this, some of these were actually were cur- cur- most of this was courtesy of at Sports Cart News on Twitter. Uh, follow Ryan for you know pretty much any of these events he's out there covering. So um, actually, actually the only one who, when he goes to these events, actually covers the event. Covers the event and uh, tweets out news and pictures and stuff like that. I mean, I didn't see Beckett. I haven't seen Cardboard Connection in geez five, six, seven years. Who? 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 I don't even know how that site keeps putting checklists up. It must be made by run by a robot or something. I don't know. There's like the robot, track, yeah. like the robot that was making our coffee at the airport. Yeah, there's a slide coming up with that. Actually, that just and while you're doing that, I was researching another company that has the same exact thing, but they're making pizza. Wow, ah, with a machine. With a machine. Yeah, our coffee barista was on point at the airport. It was a machine. It's a machine. No, literally, coffee. a machine mixing it and everything, grabbing the cups and stuff. Yep. It, was, it was it was amazing. So, uh, new tops program, one of one. Design your own one on one card, and then bring it to an event to get the signed by the athletes. I thought that's a pretty cool idea, and imagine what that could possibly go for. So, you you kind of think about like some of the programs that Panini has with the uh, Panini Instant and uh, some of the first off the line stuff. I mean, what if they did like a Dutch auction to create your own one on one card, and you could do like trout or you could do maybe this year you could do uh jordan alvarez i mean how do you put a value on that i know they haven't mentioned any prices about this yet but that could go for a lot of money if it's the right design yeah good concept there would have to be a pre-approved list of players that you would have to choose from right because what what if i was like i want steven strasberg well he's a panini exclusive that's going to be difficult right i want michael jordan I, right, Michael Jordan only. <laughs> no, I would assume that they'd put it on their website as as the player. Like, 
here's uh, Fernando Tatis. You can design a card and then get him to sign it in person. Or if they have a like a drop down menu of, right. of these are all the players you can choose from. Right. Right. Again, imagine how many emails you would get with the players that somebody wants who are not on that list. Yeah. B Moon says Tops is being cheap. Cheap. They just don't want to pay a designer. <laughs> I think the the personalization soon. So Tops is getting into the event business, you know, with all these transcendent events and stuff like this. This is another element to their event business. And we've got some transcendent news coming up in these slides as well. So uh, so we can go ahead and move on to the next slide, which uh, is talking about Stadium Club Chrome updates. Uh oh. So get ready for the word I, Chrome. I didn't, I didn't hear this one. I didn't hear about this one. Get ready for the word Chrome. So there's going to be a separate stadium club that's going to have a one autograph uh, per per hobby box, hundred base cards, beam team insert and autographs, up to seven different parallels to collect, and the SRP is going to be five dollars a pack, seventy dollars a box, coming out in November. So two different stadium clubs coming out this year. What are your thoughts? Is Stadium Club that brand that people love? <clears throat> well. It seems like this is all stemming from them coming out with Gypsy Queen, the chrome inserts in Gypsy Queen. Right. And, I mean, people liked it, but when you have every single product that's going to have chrome cards, kind of loses its luster, right? Yeah. Because uh, I know the next slide is probably going to be Allen and Ginter chrome, and uh, that's going down as well. How could a blowhard read my mind? That's crazy. Because I, I was there. Were you there? You know, I was there just chilling. And, you know, I basically walked out and I'm all chrome on everything because that's what we're getting now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It Absolutely. does cost them a lot more money to make a chrome card than just a regular cardboard stock. So, yep. Yep. And here it goes. Alan Grint Ginter chrome as well. So, wow. which I personally don't think Alan and Ginter leads itself well to chrome. You know, we joked about it a couple years ago. Or, uh, shiny, shiny, shiny. But I th now I think we're getting a shiny overkill. I don't know. That's me personally as a hobby enthusiast and as a person that likes to open packs and collect for myself i just think we just have too much chrome like leave the chrome for the tops chrome and the bowman chrome and that's it stadium club will be cool chromed out because it is going to be a full bleed design no border um new photos so i'm interested to see that ginter i don't i don't know man but they I'm already not... had stadium club chrome inserts in stadium club so i can kind of see well that. which one which one do you like better so far if you were to you don't know what they're really going to look like but ginter chrome do you think ginter needs to be chrome no absolutely isn't not. there the one box in ginter that has all chrome or am i tripping no it has a foil it's a gloss it's mm -hmm. like a it's like a foil gloss we got uh doug saying alan and ginter fast break so may, hey we may be headed that way that way and they also had talks about um changing configurations of certain products which Doug and myself are totally against um, I don't want to make products that are going to be specifically for breakers or cater to breakers um, there's enough releases where if the breaker doesn't have the manpower or doesn't want to doesn't have the customer base that wants that product then don't don't break it don't buy it right uh, we shouldn't have like a jumbo version of Allen and Ginter. People like collecting the different subsets and the inserts and the stuff like that. That's kind of what drives that product. Uh, I'm not into doing a heritage like jumbo or a heritage like no. choice or something like that. I'm actually not even into doing, and I know this is a, a very popular topic, doing like a draft choice. Yeah, I think Bowman Chrome I, choice. I think, I think just having one choice and just do that uh, because we're losing the value in the actual parallels yeah, and the base cards. Well, and, and I think Chrome itself, and, and obviously Chrome uh, has, has done well uh, the last few years, but if you go back beyond like 15, Chrome is the worst out of the three that come out. So if you're not familiar with how they release Bowman, it's Bowman, and then it's Bowman Chrome, and then it's Bowman Draft. Well, Bowman Draft usually has a lot of first-rounders, Bowman regular has the bigger names, like the bigger names that they held out of the draft. And then Chrome's usually left to have international prospects. So that's where I think it's fine for Bowman Chrome choice to come around because it needs a little bit of like a, a, a an oomph. It's um, usually a bigger auto checklist. There's usually more auto subjects in Bowman Chrome right. than there will be in draft. Because draft, they try to put in you know, majority of the first rounders, second rounders. They don't go real deep into the international signing uh, Bowman, regular Bowman that comes out, 
they usually hold out that one guy. That this year it's going to be Bobby Witt, and we're getting into that coming up as well. As Man, I you know so. the funny thing is, is I don't even I don't even need the itinerary <laughs> in the schedule. I just uh, well, I don't know if you heard about this one. So I thought this actually I I missed this portion of the events, but they were talking about the transcendent calendar. So right out of the gate, there's three transcendents that are going to be coming out, and uh, three baseball transcendents. So you've got 2020 uh, uh, transcendent Hall of Fame, which is the first one that's going to be out. That's coming out in May. And that's going to be centered around just Hall of Famers. So and digest that. I mean, what Hall of Famers really sell at this point? So, there, yes, there's going to be some super cool cut autos. There's going to be a four-way cut auto of uh, the original Hall of Fame. Um, there's going to be some really cool no- Nosby pieces in that 50 cases. Um, but they also announced Bowman Transcendent, which was a rumor, a loose rumor for a while. So that's confirmed. It looks like that's going to have an SRP of 15000 per case. No details, really, that we could, we could find out about that. Um, that's coming out in August. And before we move on to Transcendent, because they have announced who they're centering Transcendent around this year, 2020 regular Transcendent, I wanted to talk about Bowman. Because Bowman collectors like the regular 35 to 55-point card stock. Uh, Transcendent is a gold-plated 130-point card stock. So I'm just wondering how that's going to translate or are they going to stick to the 35-point card stock for Transcendent or are they going to make a gold plated? And that wasn't obviously answered yet. Um, but I don't think Bowman needs to be... What if it's a combination of both? What if it's a chromed face, like a chromed card on the on the front of it, but it's a hundred and... I think it's actually... It's a tweener. It's actually a one, like 130 to 180. It's like right in the middle, the gold plated. What if they do a combination of both, chrome face, gold plated? Just, but it, then it's going to be thicker than thirty five. It's going to that it will be. That's I think 100%. if I was designing it, if I was making it, I would do special Bowmans and then put them in magnetics as opposed to you know putting them in. Uh, you guys hearing a buzz in your in your earphones? Yeah, that's weird. You guys hearing a buzz on the on the feed? Uh, anyways, maybe it's a spicy chip. It's just heating up the mic right now. Uh, I was hearing it right before we went live, and it was kind of going off and on. There's, I, I think it might be the electricity in the uh, in the building. Yeah, sometimes that happens. So, anyways, yeah. So I, I don't know. I'll have to see how they design it. Are they going to go first Bowman like reprints of like Clayton Kershaw or Buster Posey and using those designs again? Are are they going to do a specific twenty twenty? Are they going to use the twenty twenty Bowman design? Like, so there's all these questions for me that. And the price point's high. I know we're going to have a really good year with Bowman, um, but are they going to include guys from the other years? Is it just going to be this year? I, that's what or I, that's or what how I'm about like players that never had a Bowman card? Players that never had a first Bowman. You could do that. You can because they did it. I think in 2015 Bowman Chrome they had the uh, like the super fractors that never were. You can you can kind of do something like that. You can have a a, a Griffey. Like, well, Griffey, I think, actually, did he have a Bowman? He had a Bowman card, but it didn't say first Bowman on it. Um, maybe a, uh, a Barry Bonds rookie. So yes. Yeah. So like a Bowman version of that. Cause now they you're didn't, talking. They didn't have, they had a Topps rookie card, but they didn't have a Bowman, like a first Bowman prospect card. Yeah. So yeah. maybe they maybe they do something like that, that they do, you know, Bowman, first Bowmans that, that never existed. Well, who do you have at the event? Can you center? So for those that are new to Transcendent, Transcendent is an event base. There's always a ticket in each case to get you to an event. Like this year, we're next week, next Friday, we're flying out to see Griffey. That was last year's Transcendent 2019. Uh, had a pass to go hang out with Griffey, have dinner, open bar, uh, get some swag, which is, you know, usually pretty awesome. So, and then they had Hank Aaron the year before, and then Chris Bryant the first year. So, there's always been a marquee athlete. But when you're doing Bowman, you're talking about a prospect. You're talking about a guy that, if they're booking him now, he could suck by the time the event comes by. So, are you going to have three to four prospects so that, you know, you don't, one doesn't totally suck by the time, you know, the event rolls around? Because I'm sure they're not going to be able to book one the last minute. It's a good point. I mean, the thing is, is with, with prospects, though, you have a solid three-year shelf life before they actually make their major league debut. So you can get Wander Franco, and he's still relevant in the industry. You can get Joe Adele, he's still relevant. You can get, you know, uh, Seth Beer or, like, any of those prospects that still are climbing the ranks. The issue is, is you wouldn't be able to get a, a player who is 27, 28 years old who hasn't been called up yet. 
yeah. you're gonna have to you're gonna have to stick with really some of the guys who are still in like Joey Bart would be one that you know if you get him now before he makes his debut there's but gonna be value you there you can't have a Joey Bart run event that's not enough you have I think you'd have to have multiple yeah. I think you'd have to have like a like a Joey Bart Wander Franco Joe Adele and the reason why they maybe had Joe Adele down there is maybe they put together a package deal of multiple events coming up. And this was event number one. Then he has an event number two. Yeah. So. Well, it doesn't say. So it says uh, August. So they've got uh, three, four months to, to make the decision. Um, hits and chicks. I think, they, I think they've already made that decision. I, think they've, I don't I think, think they can really. It, yeah. I don't think they can work on a party that size and wait for three months before the event to get the get the actual player well, here's the thing. or so the, the players. The product releases in August. The season is over in October, right? So the event's going to have to be after October. You know what? It can very well be players who just got drafted. The draft happens in June. Yeah. You get like crazy first Bowman's before. You, well, you get, you get the, uh, say they have an event with, the first, second, and third pick in that draft. Those are going to be the first cards they have. That's true. That might actually be valuable. Um, Hits and Chicks asks, and I'm glad you mentioned this because I didn't include it in the slide, so it's worth definitely worth mentioning. So Tops, uh, they had some cards of Tyler Harrow, Hero, sorry, Tyler Hero circulating on a Tops Chrome stock. Tops Chrome, rookie auto, no, no logos. They were actually asked about that. They were actually asked about that card in specific, particularly. And they said it was an idea they had, and it's shelved for the moment, and there's no news of, of that card ever being released. I think they actually said that there is not going to be a Topps Chrome basketball release. Yes. No. I'm, you know what I'm thinking happened? Because I don't know this for sure. But Wasn't I there know. something like that last year that happened? No, it was Tyler Hero for this year. They had Tyler Hero took an Instagram picture of him signing uh, Topps Chrome cards and hmm. put it out there, and everybody saw it. So it could have been an instance where maybe they were close. This is what I'm thinking. They might have been close to signing Zion. So they needed other autographs to be into the mix, maybe. Is that a possibility? Because it took so long for Panini to announce Zion. And I know it was an agent change and stuff like that. <laughs> I, I would be surprised if it was Tops trying to get Zion. I, I, I know we can, we can talk about the rumblings of maybe Upper Deck <clears throat> trying to get in the mix because they had done it before. Is, is but, this... why, but why would Tops try to get into the bat i mean i get you get zion but you're literally i i can't see you being able to monetize we've seen it with simmons they have not been able to monetize those players that they signed to an exclusive so you're doing it for leverage right what are you gonna say c-red <coughs> i'm looking at the cards right now on, on the forums and um i, re I recognize these these the, we, yeah people were talking about these last may yeah, it was right before – I mean, it was, like, right after the draft. Or it could have been right around the draft, right? So, um, yeah, people were talking about them, and everybody was speculating that we're going to have some Topps Chrome unlicensed cards what, that were going to come What back. if they were going to do it as insert autos in some of their, like, silver packs for the National they were going to give away? Could have been that. Or and maybe then, they could then And then they – and then basically maybe maybe somebody came to them and said, you can't, you can't put these in there. Yeah, maybe. Or what if they were going to just put it, like, make Topps Chrome weird and, and why why would you choose Hero to be the guy it's probably whoever you can get to agree I mean right uh, but so 2020 Transcendent they announced that it's going to be based around Harper so, oh uh, I actually thought for a second it was going to be Harper and Strickland are going to duel it out and they're just going to fight it out at the party Transcendent cases <laughs> so, so they didn't say for sure that he's going to be at the party, but it sounds like the one, if you're familiar with Topps Transcendent, the one-on-one -on -one set's probably going to be Bryce Harper. So, I mean, which means the 2020 Transcendent event, the regular Transcendent, the one that's going on to its fourth year now, is going to be Bryce Harper. I know we've had conversations about being the face of baseball and stuff like that. I don't know. I, Bryce, I, Har I, Bryce Harper, to me, is a dime. His autos are a dime a dozen these I love, days. I love Harper. Tell us why. I, well, first off, he is he's a ball player. He's fate and and I still think he's one I mean, if he has a good year and the Phillies go to the playoffs, back to being the face of uh face of baseball. I mean, you wanna say your shirt, that's that's that guy up there. I mean, that's number thirty four. He's a blowhard. No. I you know, I whatever. If he was a giant, you'd love him. If he's giant, you would have a 
number 34 Bryce Harper jersey. You'd be stoked. I probably would. But um, I'd want him to like inscribe, like, I threw my batting helmet at Hunter Strickland and missed. <laughs> that, that would be pretty cool. That might be worth it. That might be worth it. So what do you think? I mean, are people going to get really excited over Bryce Harper? Was this the right name to have in Transcendent? No. Who? I mean, who could be the right name? The right name? Yeah. Not who could be. The, who is, who the, is right the right name? name? Derek Jeter. They're going to use Derek Jeter at some point. Yeah, but that would have putting a Hall of Fame product together. Are we calling? Because this is the Hall of Fame transcendent, right? No, Harper's going to be a regular transcendent. Ray, oh, regular transcendent. 2020 transcendent. So who's going to be in the Hall of Fame? I've heard rumblings is two or three guys. Like, so they've right? already announced it's going to be Harper, but this isn't coming out until December. This is coming out, yes. So it says it's So we have the Hall of Fame transcendent that's coming out well before, right. but they haven't announced anybody, which that is the one that I felt it would be obvious to get Jeter, but that's I don't I don't foresee that happening. Um, it could. I mean, it could be Jeter. It should be Jeter. Jeter's going into the Hall of Fame would make sense, right? But but, but there's also you got Larry Walker going to the Hall of Fame, so you can also have Larry Walker. Maybe you could have both. Who else is going to the Hall of Fame? Larry Walker, Derek Jeter. Not the right people. They're, they're Says, had it, they're Bryce Harper will be the 2020 transcendent cornerstone player what was reported so to me that means that that's the guy that's gonna but be maybe it's gonna be a bryce harper set and maybe he's not necessarily not there. gonna be at the party yeah man i know i hate to change subjects before we go on to bowman but did you see that spectra that they're gonna have logo mans in there i don't like that yeah i don't like that man you don't like the laundry tag logo man is it a laundry tag logo man yeah, yeah they, it's a, they, it's a laundry had, tag. they used to have that they had that like gold standard and <clears throat> had that in a bunch of products no, no dude go to uh blowout buzz Shout out to Blah. And um, go to uh, the first, like, scroll down. That looks like a regular logo, man, dude. Not a laundry tag logo, man. Let me see. Guys, see it for yourself. Spectro, you tell me, right? Yep. Scroll down. It's like the second article on Blowout Buzz. That's a regular logo, man. I get, yeah. It's a mock up, but it looks like a regular logo, man, to me. You guys seeing that? Let's do it, man. Let's 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 have logo bands and everything, man. No, can't, <laughs> can't. I know they're uh, they're getting to that point though. I'm voting for C Rad for president in 2020. Thank you. So I'm uh, gonna drop by like Andrew Yang, though. Know. <laughs> <laughs> so 2020 Bowman, it was announced and confirmed that Mr. Jason Dominguez Dominic. will be in the product. So we all seen pictures of him signing his card. But we didn't know for sure if he was going to be in 2020 Bowman or he was going to be in Bowman Chrome. He is confirmed for 2020 Bowman, which means those boxes are going to be literally insane. Buy him now. A Yankee, huh? In, Buy him now. A Yankee, huh? A Yankee. In freaking insane. I mean, this kid's like 17 years old. He's the next coming of the greatest player of all time, I guess. You know, we haven't even had. Nobody's ever seen him at bat. But, you know, I guess based on the way he looks and based on the team he plays for, he is going to be the next new booty. And, uh, you know, once uh, the Zion hype and we go into the offseason and stuff, people are going to be paying big money for Jason Dominguez. So baseball is going to be very, you. very, very, very strong, especially with 2020 ball. Bigger, it's going to be bigger than when we were all chasing Aaron Judge. Show him yeah. Otani. It's going to be way bigger. It's yeah. going to be bigger than Otani. It's it's the Yankees. It's a Yan And he's a power hitter. And he supposedly is a five tool. He's like Trout. He's like the the next Trout. They're saying the next Trout. Nice. I mean, and if you look at the prices, and this is uh, crazy. For one, if you look at baseball pr uh, prospectus, because I don't want to pay for Baseball America yet, but maybe I will. You've got Bobby Witt at twenty nine out of the top one hundred prospects, and you have Jason Dominguez at forty six in the top hundred. That's all the teams. That's all their farm systems put together. So you're going to have two guys in 2020 Bowman that are going to be in the top 50. I can't remember the year we've seen that. So get ready for the ultimate hype train. And I'm sure there's going to be other guys in 2020 Bowman that people are going to be chasing beyond these two guys. I didn't think it was really smart for them to put Jason Dominguez in this product. I, honestly, I, I thought that they should have held him out to for Chrome. I thought Bobby Witt might be enough to run Bowman along with a few other guys. Um, but they're trotting him out there in 2020 Bowman. So it's, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, and if you look at recent sales on eBay of Jason Dominguez's Prism, so if you're looking for Jason Dominguez now, you can buy him in Panini products. It's going to be unlicensed. But uh, you've got a non-numbered refractor 
sticker auto that went for $305 compared to a number to 75 Bobby Witt that went for $45. So what we is got, that? We got Prism Draft, by the way, guys. We do have Prism <laughs> Draft. <laughs> um, Bobby, there was $19 Bobby Witt autos that, from Leaf. And granted, they're from Leaf, but... Um, why, aren't, why aren't people digging Bobby Witt? I have no idea. Plays for, maybe because he plays for the Royals? We can't... What, can't, can't what, have, what, I, what I, big I, prospects come from the Royals recently? The the Wit first Bowman's were uh, popular though, right? Uh, the yeah, first, he hasn't had the, a, the, the first Bowman of Bobby Witt will do fine, but it's a it's surprising to me the disparity between the two. So if you've got a a Prism Auto of these two and one's two hundred and fifty dollars higher, and that's uh, and Bobby Witt's actually numbered, and the the Jason Dominguez isn't. So the Dominguez, uh, first Bowman base, thousand uh, dollars. Seem seems about right. Cool. Maybe more. Maybe more. Maybe more if, if uh, spots for the Yankees and breaks are going to be selling for 800 to to $1,000. I mean, you, you got to figure that price is protected. People are going to hit them. Probably not going to sell them for under the spot price. So, And then can you imagine what an orange, gold, <laughs> red will go for of Jason Dominguez? Well, he, uh, he wasn't picked 44. He was an international signing. Um, that is just where he's at on – the baseball proc- uh, prospect list, he hasn't taken in a bat yeah. against like even minor league talent yet. That is like that literally is he's ranked forty six and he has no minor league experience. Yeah, he, he may he may have played a. I, actually, I don't think he played in rookie ball. I don't think so. I mean, if you can YouTube him, if you guys have never heard of Jason Dominguez, and if you're listening to the podcast, it's uh, two S's on Jason, so J A S S O N. Watch some of his videos. I mean, he's got explosive power. I mean, it's pretty insane. And the prospect list, let me verify that. It wasn't the pick they were at. That's the number one prospect right now is currently Wander Franco. The number two prospect is Joe Adele. So it's pretty much any guy that's not had enough major league experience to qualify. So he is number 44 in the pool of all players, and he's not even taken a swing yet. So um, same thing with Bobby Witt. Just got drafted, and he's ranked 26. So, and Bobby Witt plays shortstop. Jason Dominguez is an outfielder. So, um, it's crazy. I mean, who would you guys rather invest in? Bobby Witt or Jason Dominguez? <laughs> Jason Dominguez. Jason, like, dude, is it a serious question? Okay, so if... You just got done talking about Bryce Harper. Clown question, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, if Jason Dominguez was on the Padres, uh-huh. would you still pick Jason Dominguez over Bobby mm. Witt? Same player, though, right? Same he, player. Same player. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he can he looks like he can play some baseball. What if Jason Dominguez played for the A's? Hell yeah. <laughs> Would you still invest in his cards? I mean, he's still probably in up see, on the Yankees. See, the issue the, you say Padres and there's been Padre prospects who've sold well. Has there been any A's prospects? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how no, about No, uh what's his name? What's his name who is still in the league? Marzero gets... Armenteros? No, the uh Cespedes? Yeah. At the beginning, he he had some hype behind him, and he was he was an A, triple A, yeah, it was a triple A. So crazy. So get ready for twenty twenty Bowman. I believe it's coming out in um, at the end of March. So w- just when you thought this hobby wouldn't get any crazier, we've got like Bowman NT basketball <laughs> and uh, the new football <laughs> draft coming, and then uh, NT football. Uh, I mean, it just don't stop. It just keeps going. So, any of your friends laugh at your baseball card collection, start showing them prices on eBay. And you just say, hey, I don't know, man. I could buy a car or I could buy this. this Jason this, Dominguez. This is Jason Dominguez or this Zion Williamson. <laughs> I could trade this Zion Williamson for a Tessie whip. Yeah, Dan, would you rather have a Tesla or a Super Fractor 101 first Bowman and Jason Dominguez? Or uh, what was it? What, Tessie Tesla, whip? Yeah. He looks like a ball player, and I mean, he's Yankee. He's Yankee, dude. I'm gonna go Super Fractor. Oh, so that's I mean, crazy because he, he may, you went, but you went, he, you went but he may, instead of the Zion. But he may be. Well, he's not the fourth heaviest player in the league. <laughs> Zion is, and the first, and the first most agile in the league. And I mean, we're talking Pelicans against the Yankees. Uh, yeah, that'd I, be like I, that'd be like equivalent, I guess, if Zion was on the Lakers, right? Oh God. Or oh, I mean, God, I La- Lakers or you know Knicks or Celtics or something like that. But Pelicans, yeah. I don't know. But Jason Dominguez Super Fractor could could be a million dollar card. 
A million dollars? Could be a million dollars. No, 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 no. It could be one. Could be one. one. <laughs> it, it actually, I can guarantee you, it'll be at least one. It'll be one. You know, and it's funny. One of the other things that they mentioned at the tops event was if they wanted us to see more products that had less autographs, and because um, I think a la revolution, right? Well, they're seeing they're seeing what Panini's doing with products that don't have autographs. They're seeing that Optic Basketball is driven more by the parallel than it is the autograph, right? And they're obviously Revolution as well, you just mentioned. And and if you think about it, 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 it does it. The Bowman and Tops is about the autograph, and the parallels, I mean, granted, some of them sell very, very well, but it is not basketball prices. Mm-mm. So Bo- uh, Bowman has made their stamp on, you know, the autograph. Now, granted, Sapphire did well without any autographs. It, 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 it went up five times. But I just don't think, oh, long term, baseball can get away from autographs do you think sapphire went up because of the basketball market do you think you have people seeing what the basketball parallels are doing and then they're speculating on this is what the baseball parallels could do in the future i think i think the reason it did well because i think honestly i think that draft class is phenomenal and you know getting a short printed base parallel of some of these big names like cj abrams um, Adley Rushman, just getting a base, not even a numbered card, and it being specific to Chrome Sapphire, which had a slightly lower, had a, a really lower print run than regular Bowman. I think guys were thinking, if I get, a, I can get twenty to forty dollars over every graded one of these I get, right? So what if I got five of the top guys? That's two hundred dollars in my pocket, not even counting like the numbered cards I'd get, right? So I think that's what why the boxes went up from thirty five to over two hundred dollars. That's actually a good question. When uh, during the Bowman 2018 hype um, with Otani. I think I want to say the boxes were like four to five hundred dollars at the peak. Can't touch it now because it's not really yeah Otani you're chasing. It, no. It's you have redemptions of of Louis Bobby in there. Louis Bobby Louis Ro- Robert. So with Louis Bobby in there, I I don't I don't even know if there's any really eighteen. 18 Bowman around. I bought an 18 Bowman hobby box in Toronto and I think I paid like 350. Yeah, I mean, I American. think uh, if you're comparing the times cuz I think Bowman right now is close to a $400 jumbo box pre-sale. 2020 Bowman that is. I want to say the Otani year was 250 to 300. I don't think it was near. I think I think when after it came out and people were seeing how much the Atomics were going for, even though they probably weren't getting paid, I think it went up to like $400 yeah. at that point. And then Otani came out doing okay, got hurt. You know, we all we all know the story. Um, still, he came into spring training. He's jacked. Yeah. Get get ready for Otani. But you're not gonna be able to find any 18 Bowman. That's right. that's Dry the thing. Up, huh? Or in it, people's well, I mean, closets. because of the Luis Roberts redemption, I think a lot of guys are freaking out and selling it right now to make sure it gets opened. Because the the redemption's expiring soon, so. but it's still. I mean, search, search for it. What what is a what does a 2018 Bowman box go for? Um, let's see. Let's go to one of our friendly online retailers here and see what happens. 2018 Bowman. I don't think it's that much, to be honest. Not as much as 2020 Bowman. 2018 Bowman you got draft. You know, you got to cycle through all of the. Uh, so it's twenty seven hundred dollars a jumbo jumbo case. Twenty eight hundred dollars a jumbo case can't find a box price can somebody do the math for me what's eight divided what's 2800 divided by eight who's got who's got uh, 350 that's a great deal 350 right now buy that it's a good deal i mean you got otani luis robert and hunter green is there anybody else you only need that's all you need you only need those two homies right there otani's live thankfully and we actually we could say we could probably have like a conversation about otani like Chris Bryant, he had multiple Bowman Chrome cards come out. Which one do you want? And if, say he doesn't pitch, do you still want the Otani of him pitching? That was in 2018 Bowman. Right. 2018 Bowman Chrome was the first Otani of him hitting. Right. Would that be the more valuable one if he becomes a better hitter? Yeah, and it's not a first. And, he actually and, never and, had a first Bowman. And neither one of them say first Bowman. Because he was a rookie. Because he was a rookie. So and he, I think he'd already – it doesn't count, I think, if you've already played in an international tournament. Yeah. I think he was in the WBC at one point. And he, had, he already had a first Bowman 
in the WBC set that they did. And we're almost there. This is going to happen very soon. So you guys in the back row, get ready. So um, what? You you collecting the pitching Otani? You consider that the first Bowman? You collecting the hitting Otani? You consider that the better one? I'm collecting the pitching Otani. Okay. Personally. That's the one I like better. Um, I like pitching Otani better. Uh, one thing I did want to point out about the Jason Dominguez market coming up is I think it's going to be bigger than we've ever seen because – you have such a backlog of guys that are trying to chase and hold Zion that aren't able to get them that they're going to pivot to something else. And baseball and basketball do kind of intermingle more so than football and basketball or baseball. So I think that a lot of these guys are going to get burnt out on chasing Zion and paying six, $700 on boxes of optic that they're going to start pivoting and trying to change Jason Dominguez. So I think that's going to bring even more people over to that market and I, I just think you're, gonna, you're just, just going to see some pure insanity with the Jason Dominguez market, unless something comes out and he can't hit or he, go, he gets injured or something like that. But if he's a healthy player and he's out there killing it as a Yankee, the Yankees are probably one of the odds-on favorites of winning the World Series this year as well. And then you got possibly Jason Dominguez coming in a couple years. I mean, you're talking about possible just a big piece to a dynasty um, that people are going to see in their minds and, and get all hyped up about. Dominguez and Judge back to back? What? Dude, I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Plus, I mean, they got Garrett Cole now. I mean, they've got, <coughs> I mean. They got Stanton. They got Stanton. Stanton's still pretty good, right? Yeah, a little bit of a down year. But... He's, he's still pretty good. He's yeah. Hurt. He's already hurt. Yeah. Yeah, Severino's out for the year. James Paxton's hurt for a while. They have a little bit of injury bugs this year, but last year, the dude, almost give all of their players. Give him Johnny Cueto straight across for Jason Dominguez. Right, exactly. We'll, give him, <laughs> we'll throw him Smarza, too. Yeah, you could have him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's time, I think. Well, am I going to do this? All right. You ready? Where's Ted? Where's Teddy Ball game? Oh, I, gotta, I think I got to bounce, right? I got to give you guys a seat. No, you're going to have to probably talk. Well, I don't know how this well, is going Okay, down. what about – okay, I'll do, I'll do this. No, they're going to go in the back. So, but you can't, can't see him. Yeah, you can. Oh, there you go. Well, here, I'll uh, go over here. Oh, my God. Man, you guys. Hey, you guys better have some, like, ice cream or something. Yo. Like, <laughs> it, I survived. But, but, no, you don't do that yet. You didn't survive. <laughs> oh, my God. Good die. Yeah, no, All right. All right. No, so, we got. We got, got some guys in the background showing some, their support. I can't can't see TJ because Doug's head's in the way. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> All right, did you do a countdown? You want you me to do a are countdown? Ready? Ready? Yeah. I might try to go a couple minutes without doing it. Oh, I, I I no 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 no. Get get Doug needs some milk. You can't you can't do that. Cause then you're gonna be panicking. He's gonna go all over the place. You're gonna get get milk all over my Sean Mannion <laughs> collection. Like collection. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> You don't want to get the spicy manions going on. Do you guys think I should just eat it all at once? Just, just one, just one fell swoop. Yeah. That's that's what that's what y'all are doing too. Horizon milk. What are you three years old? <laughs> 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 hey, when you're limited on stores around here, you gotta do what you gotta do. All right. Oh, you gotta wait. For all right, we gotta, gotta wait for one big bite. We're saying. We all right. Once again, for you guys that are just joining us. We uh, we did a donation. You guys helped out, so we appreciate you guys that donated. We're giving the uh, we got up to a hundred dollars, and we're giving it to the Kobe Bryant Foundation. So thank you guys for your donation. I'm gonna eat this chip. These guys are gonna eat this chip. Probably should have held out for more money. You know what I'm saying? We probably I probably could have got like five hundred from you guys to do this, especially because I got two other guys. It should be three hundred at least. But anyways, all right. Am, am I gonna do this? Don't is don't this, is this don't, gonna... don't touch your eyes. I'm trying not to touch the damn chip. To be honest with you. Oh, it broke. Oh. Pieces. Yeah, like some of them are broken. Oh, oh my God. Look at that thing. It smells. It smells. Smell good? Damn. Did you, eat it? Did you do it? Oh, Ted's got it. Ted, Ted's in already. All right. Are we T going? Go ahead. Three, looks, like, looks like looks like looks like TJ's shaking over there. What do you guys, you guys want another one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, you guys are shaking your head like it, like it's actually Nothing. pretty good. Ooh. Nothing. 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 Didn't even affect me. Nothing. I'm a man. Uh, I'm almost forty. I'm Asian too. I eat spicy. Oh. Oh, you going water, huh? Make it even worse. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even a minute. That wasn't even thirty seconds, Doug. Where are you going? I didn't do milk. I did water. 
Man, well, that's wow! Happy. I'm actually, I'm really, I'm really, really surprised. You yeah, should have did it, dude. No, 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 no. I would, no, I would have died. <laughs> okay, I right on camera. Um, it, it's starting to feel a little hot. I'm not gonna lie. It's Why? It's, a, it's already it's down. It's already burn. It's already down, right? Yeah, it's already down. It's already down. Whoa. So, how you feeling over there, TJ? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, um, I need that milk. Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, so Doug, how? <coughs> <clears throat> oh. Compared to the hottest things you've ever eaten in your life, that is pretty fu- freaking hot. <laughs> <laughs> is that pretty freaking fresh? Yeah, it's pretty freaking fresh, and I like it a lot. Oh, dude, I can feel it. I can feel it in my ears at this point. It's moving into my ears. I well, actually, you've changed it. You're a different color now. <laughs> 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 that, it, you know, actually, it looks. I'm getting a vibe. Don't laugh. It's gonna make it worse. Ooh. Trust me. I'm no, getting, don't laugh. Getting a vibe that it actually. Uh, I mean, this laughing like kind of creep in your throat, right? Kinda creeps up, huh? Oh, it's creeping. It's a creeping. creeping. <laughs> creeping. <laughs> it isn't like yeah. Woo! <laughs> hey, get them a trash can, bro. I think they might need to throw up. Oh, don't throw up. Because <laughs> then imagine how hot it's gonna be coming out. Oh, uh, water spreads it around. Thanks for telling me now. Yeah, I don't know why you're eating while I'm drinking water. <sighs> <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> oh man, sorry to sweat. Is it hot? Did you guys turn up the heat in here? Dan, Dan, see, I told you, 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 you. I actually got. Well, I can't. Also, I can't drink milk either. That'd have been a tough go. All right, I'm gonna go start you guys' breaks now. No, what are we, what are we gonna talk about? The champ, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It ain't fun. <laughs> oh, I just got a political call. <laughs> right, I got to do the milk. I got to do milk, so I got to do it. <laughs> oh, the milk helps. The milk helps. Dude, imagine if you had ice cream. That would have been amazing, huh? Actually, uh, I think all you guys did really well. Good job, guys. Oh, it was for, yeah, K- was, uh, it was for Kobe. <sighs> oh! Oh, dude. Doug's not okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> we may have lost one. <laughs> let, me, let me switch the camera over to Dan. Yeah, huh? we may have lost one. Okay, there we go. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think, I think that wraps up the show, right? I think we're, um, I think we're, I think we're signing off now. No, we gotta see. We gotta wait ten minutes of Doug. We gotta see Doug in ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> the milk's helping, yeah? TJ, the milk's helping? <laughs> oh, man. Is the milk helping, TJ? Only when it's in your mouth. Ted? It gets really bad after you swallow the milk. Because it feels like you're just swallowing the chip again, right? Yep. Yep. It was stuck in my throat, too. I done tried to tell these guys. I done tried to tell these guys. It's the worst thing I ever did in my life. See, Dan, Dan, was a, Dan was a smart man. <laughs> I'm just drinking my kombucha and just hanging out. You can go back to the other camera. You want to you get in here or you're done? Let's go back to the smaller camera. So how much hotter is that chip than like your standard flaming hot Cheetos? No, let's go back to the camera. <laughs> you know, this guys, I don't want to see see me crying <laughs> <laughs> on the big camera. <laughs> that was the hottest fucking chip I ever ate. Ah, oh, you like you like the shirt? You like the blowhard shirt? <laughs> ate crap too though. I thought I was I was like oh, I got this nothing it ain't nothing. But I guess I can hold this up now, right? Yeah, you did. Well, we don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah time will tell. Then you... <laughs> it's not going to feel good coming out. No, this, your, all your guys' stomachs will be hurting for a long time. Oh, you tell us now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but... The, no, 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 but, no. But the... Um, sorry, I don't want to get, like, vulgar on the show or nothing, but the the uh, coming out, it won't be too bad. 
<laughs> too bad. Too bad. <laughs> it won't be too bad. It's promising. <laughs> no, 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 no. The the uh, uh when you go when you go uh to to pee for the first time, it's gonna burn. Feeling like a thousand needles are on my mouth right now. That's how I feel. <clears throat> you know, it's 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 yeah, it's. it's I intense. hear the days after is pretty bad too. No, no, I was feeling fine the next day. I was right. fine the next day. All right. Well, uh, good thing I'm not breaking today, because I don't know. That's why. That's like. that's why I told you. Like, good thing we did this today, because yesterday you would have been messed up. Oh man, the milk does like help, like for a second. All right, guys. Well, thank you for donating. We appreciate it, and uh, hopefully that was uh, entertainment. It's like comments like out to my balls. Right? You know, like, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, it. <laughs> it was just like kicking me in the nuts. Maybe we could do that. How much money do you think we can get if I have Dan kick me in the nuts next show? How much money can we raise? I'll do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's entertainment. It is. It's all for the uh, the, the foundation. Oh, but anyways. All right, guys. We're going to sign out. Thank you guys for uh, participating in that. We appreciate all the guys that uh, donated. That's going to go straight to the Kobe Foundation. Uh, we'll be back live next week for episode 129 at the regular slated time. It's hard for me to talk. Honestly. It is. Woo! It is. Oh, man. Uh, we got three hundred dollars if you kick me in the nuts. We got that going. Um, but uh, right, right at right now, it'd probably be a good time to do it. I probably wouldn't even notice. It would take it would take the the thoughts away from your mouth for a second. It would. Yeah. yeah. So maybe uh, maybe we, we do a slap challenge. Just slap each other as hard as you can. All right, guys. We'll see you guys later. Peace.